Hey, welcome to vlog number six. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Zimmerman Life channel. As you guys saw from that sequence in the beginning, I have some lotion that I'm making for an order. So that is on the stove. You might hear my dishwasher going off right behind you. <laughs> but today's vlog is going to feature some soap that I'm gonna be cutting. I'm gonna talk about one of my soaps that accelerated really bad on me last night and I wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside because I don't know what it's gonna look like on the inside. I'm a little nervous to be honest with you. <laughs> Kayla's on the roof right now cutting branches down so I'm a little worried about that. I'm seeing branches fall which is a good thing. But hopefully he's doing good up there. And yeah, that's pretty much the vlog. Whatever else comes our way, we'll show it, but that's what we have planned so far. And so if you want to keep along with us, then keep watching. <laughs> so all that greenery out there isn't bushes. It's branches from the tree that Kale is cutting down right now. And he just called me. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> he just called me a second ago to get him the rake. So I'm not sure what he's going to do with the rake, but let's find out. Where's the rake? It's right at the front of the garage. Okay. On the left. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. How do you feel up there? Good. I feel safe. There's a part over there that's plastic roof, so... Thank you. Please be careful up there. Now that I have the lotion on the stove, that's gonna take a while for everything to melt down. I think I'm gonna go and cut this soap here. We have four loaves that I made the night before. For the most part, they behaved except for this guy. And this is the one I'm curious about. This is my lemon shandy soap. And this guy accelerates really, really quickly. The other ones behave really nicely. I can get these really nice swirls and it's more controlled. My inside swirls are nice and even, but the lemon shandy soap is kind of a toss up. Sometimes it behaves, sometimes it doesn't, and last night it was not. So that's gonna be interesting cutting into that. Here is our grapefruit sunrise soap. And then here is our lavender cedarwood essential oil soap. These are some of our best sellers that are really popular with with the ladies, women really like these scents, but men also tend to really like the grapefruit and the lavender cedar wood. So let's get this soap cut and see what the inside of it looks like.
so I'm breathing a bit of a sigh of relief right now because I cut into it and it wasn't as bad as I thought. I don't have as much holes as I was anticipating. There are a few holes here. Let me show you a good one. And this will happen if your um, if your soap batter is starting to accelerate really fast on you and it was really really starting to thicken up really fast. So if that's happening to you, one of the best things to do is to get your soap batter in the mold and just whack your mold onto something hard like the floor or a chair or the table just to let gravity do its thing and fill in those those pockets and i'm very pleased and surprised to see that i did not get very many of those pockets but you will notice how my swirls which usually come down lower on the soap bar are um kind of in the upper half and not really <laughs> integrated that much into the yellow part but it's still a pretty so far and I'm still proud of it. Some of them really I didn't get much of a swirl but still pleased with how it turned out. Some of them still turned out really pretty like this one. Even though there's a big block of pink over here there's still some nice swirls along the side there and this this darker circle in the middle that's a gel ring and that usually goes away after the soap has cured some time so I think what makes it accelerate is lemongrass essential oil. For those of you that make soap, you can confirm in the comments below that I really think it's the lemongrass because I upped the amount just a little bit for this particular batch and it accelerated much faster than I thought it would and I wasn't able to get the super swirly tops that I'm usually able to get. It's more of a chunky top. <laughs> And it also overheated really fast. So another reason why I think that it accelerated super quick was because I think my oils were a little hotter than usual. And I know that the soap batter was hotter than what I would like because I experienced some cracking as well along the top of my soap. So I try to soap as cool as I possibly can. And I guess for this batch, I soaked a little bit too hot. <laughs> so now this trouble batch is cut and I'm done that task. I'm gonna put this up in my curing room and I'll show you a quick time lapse of the other three soap loaves that I need to cut as well, right here. So you can see with these bars how the swirl goes much lower than the lemon shandy bars that I showed earlier. I'll have a, another um, image over here so you can compare the two. But this is the swirls that I usually get if my batter is the optimum liquid state, liquid vis viscosity. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm usually looking for when it comes to swirls. And these are our raspberry vanilla bars and they smell so good. If you're curious about any of the soaps that I feature on here, I have a link to my company down below. And if you're curious as to how I make these guys, I also have a separate channel called Jerrica Zimmerman where you can watch me make all of these soaps. Dempsey's a fan, I swear. <laughs> so now that everything is done, we're gonna bring these up to cure. And Kale will help me with that. Thank you so much for helping me bring them upstairs. You're welcome. You did good work on the tree out there. Yeah, scary up on the roof. Yeah, were you scared? I was wondering about that. You seem so brave no. doing it. Dempsey was worried about you. That's why she's crying right now. So. And did you also see the gypsy moth cocoons up there? Yeah, some of those um, some of those are still up there from early summer. So oh, gosh. Coming down. Hopefully the gypsy moths are not as bad Yeah. Year, so. Oh, they were so bad this year. Quick update on the lotion that I was making earlier. Here is what the final product looks like. It is very thick very creamy for those of you who are new to my channel and new to well me i own a bath and body company and um i also talk about how i make stuff on youtube so if you want the recipe to this guy i have that linked in my uh, description below and for today's batch i made a batch of our signature georgian bay which is a really fresh coastal type scent and a batch of raspberry vanilla which is more of a sweet um, creamy type of scent both of those work really well in lotions. 
but this particular recipe is nice and thick but it absorbs so quickly which is awesome so now that the lotion is done we are gonna get dinner ready and actually Kayla's gonna make a special soup today do you want to tell them what kind of soup we are making it's going to be a vegetable soup and a lot of the ingredients here are going to be local vegetables that you can make a homemade soup with things that have been grown just a mere kilometers or miles from where you live. Yeah, so mostly local ingredients. That's so exciting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we'll show you the process and we'll let you know how it tastes. What you drinking tonight, Kale? Big Red Breweries, Tales from the Patch. Oh, cool. This is, now I am a connoisseur of pumpkin beers. You love pumpkin beers. I love pumpkin beers. It's probably the best thing about fall. And for me, I'm having the good old Sneaky Weasel. Sneaky Weasel. Good old Sneaky Weasel. And this one's really good too. This is, uh, is this, what kind of beer is this? Uh, it's just a, Craft. just a lager. Just a lager. It's a strong lager though. So that is Kale's delicious harvest vegetable soup, and we are gonna sit down and enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching our vlog. Those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. But if you liked this kind of video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, please subscribe. <laughs> so until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.